Yeah, I'm in my jammies, but first... <laughs> playing on a side um, I blame it on working cutting down flowers with a sign all day just like the 1700s but I got home and I was thinking about this the other night a long time ago actually there are no bad guitars anymore that like when I was a teenager in way back when the dinosaurs were roaming the earth uh, no uh, uh, back when, um, you know, in the 80s, the late 80s, to get a guitar like this, you would have paid probably $800 to $1,000. Uh, shitty pickups in this, but listen to it. <laughs> Guitars like that, a tune and the, the bad playing not aside. Um, I mind you, I'm playing through a really nice, you know, got some monitors here, got the, the mess of boogie never disappoints. But the guitar itself sounds pretty decent. You would play live with this and you would have a lot of fun. You wouldn't be saying, oh, this guitar just sucks so bad to play live. You know? <laughs> optimal frets <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying like that that's that's pretty cool hundred dollar pedal hundred dollar 115 dollar amp back in 2003 that was like 1500 bucks back in 1991 when i was a kid i still have uh fresh beer stains on it from uh, 1995 one of my last few last gigs there was always beer stains and mold on this side of the amp but it helped to preserve the amp uh, but anyway, this is what you can get out of, uh, you know, out of, a, out of a really cheap guitar by today's standards. Now, mind you, the fingerboard's good on this, uh, the neck is good on this, uh, the strings, these strings are really dead, they've been on this guitar for a long time, but... C.C. DeVille and Poison didn't get this sound. Uh, Scotty Hill and uh, Dave the Snake Salvo they would probably use this. Maybe they'd want a little more punch to it, sure. Ugh. Why are you not working? 
working. Be impressed. We're trying to impress people. Impress people. <laughs> Anyway, Anthrax would like this. And I can't wait because I just want to, un, you know, unleash that mayhem on the audience. But the point I'm making is, is that you couldn't get a $400 guitar to sound like this back in the 80s and 90s. They just didn't, they didn't play this well. They didn't have any slim paper necks. They didn't have, uh... uh... <laughs> you need to spend on a good guitar this is what makes buying a second guitar really hard uh if you're buying a second i'm, I'm on more than a second guitar but uh yeah i bought this as a jam night guitar and stuff like that to beat up you know playing gigs and stuff how well would it hold up on that well that's where you you, you know the that's where that's where you, you get what you pay for but um uh, yeah you guys let me know like what do you think of the like modern guitars <laughs> you know 